<laughs> All right, guys. So we've given it 10 minutes anyway, so we'll crack on with this uh, this training then. So let me share my uh, screen. Just up. So, yeah, this session then, it's all about uh, short form video, which um, see a lot of people are getting a lot of success from, including you, Jenny. So mm. I'm glad you're on this call because you'll be able to give your perspective on things as well because you're doing better than myself on this. I've only just picked it up within the past probably about six months, but... Yeah, the, the, it's really worth jumping on it right now because it is the algorithms are giving a lot of preference to this kind of uh, content. Mm. Um, so what we're going to cover over this this sesh then is a bit of an overview, just to dig a bit deeper into to what we've mentioned as to how, why it's so valuable to to jump onto right now. Um, some content ideas about what to structure it around what to what to cover in your in the in the subject of the videos uh the structure so again it's it pays to have a, a strategic way of putting it together um so we'll cover that actually recording it and then what to do after you've recorded it so the like the stuff that i'll teach you today is not well there's different ways of doing it but this is the way that i've done it and this is the way that i've got success from it and this is the whole premise of what we do on this course is it's called New Age Advisor. So it's all about just being um, effective with your time, really. So this stuff that, that I'm going to show you today is just a quick way of doing it. You can do it in other ways to include more like production to make it look really good um, and really polished and like add like things like B-roll to it and like music in the background and stuff and and have like a, a full setup with a, a tripod doing it and a, a a light um which you can do but this stuff i'm going to teach you just as how i do it and it's just fast and it's effective and it just gets it out there it might not be perfect but it's done which is kind of um the whole premise of what we're doing this program is just to to get stuff out there and and if it's not perfect, it doesn't need to be as long as it's as long as it's out there and it's done. So, yeah, just going back to the overview then. So, like I said before, in terms of why it's so good now is because like TikTok started kind of taking this this kind of short form uh, video content. They kind of they were the, like the, the first ones to really do it and really kind of um, really run really hit the ground running with it really because that got a lot of attention in lockdown wasn't it really that it really TikTok really kind of picked off but it's this short form because people's attention spans these days are just just getting less and less as the time goes on and so TikTok is the perfect when that came around because it's like a minute this is reels all this content that we're talking about the short form it's less than a minute in duration so it's quick and it's to the point. And like I say, TikTok really has taken a lot of eyeballs away from Facebook and Instagram um, over the past, well, like I say, COVID really in lockdown, a lot of people went over to TikTok from these little platforms. So so these little platforms, Instagram and Facebook, are kind of playing catch up. So they've kind of employed that same kind of um structure that same concept in terms of the short form content but they're really giving a lot of priority to those videos in their algorithms so the views that people are getting on um these kind of this kind of content is a hell of a lot more than what you'd ever got on anything else in terms of social media other than paying for it um like like jenny will tell you you've got like literally millions of views on on your on your stuff haven't you which yeah yeah there's, there's no way anyone would be able to get that kind of um amount of views without paying for it before this is this kind of these algorithms are really like, giving priority to this kind of content so it's really worth jumping on now because this it won't last forever this this trend if you like obviously to tweak the algorithms and stuff so um 
that could happen in six months, could happen in a year, could happen in two years, it could happen in five, but you don't know. So the chances are that it, it will change in like closer than in five years. But that's what's why it's worth jumping on now and, and just taking advantage while it's while it's in this um in this stage at the moment. So and if you're doing guys, if anyone on the call or anybody watching this back is doing videos that aren't reels, what I'd suggest is is just stop doing that and just format it, formatting it into a reel. Because the views that you're getting on that normal content, if you're just posting the video stuff into the normal feeds, just repositioning that into this format is just going to get you a hell of a lot more views and a lot more um, leads and a lot more sales. So that's the whole point of what we're the point of what we're posting this stuff for is to get appointments and and deals done. So, uh, other than the exception is YouTube. Obviously, YouTube long form is still amazing. So if you producing long form video for YouTube and still keep doing that. But what you can also do is obviously the with the format of this kind of video, it's you can use that for YouTube shorts and you can direct people from your YouTube shorts or your reels to your main kind of channel on YouTube to your long form content. Just give a teaser of, of what you're covering in the main video and kind of point people to the main video from your from your shorts. Um so so there's a couple of, well, a few requirements then for a short, um, for short form content. So it's it's under a minute, so it's quick, it's it's snappy. It needs to you need to obviously get what you're saying out within that, that well, fifty nine seconds really. Um, so it's vertical. So obviously it's it's that. So it's it's rectangular, um, like a phone, um, and a kind of requirement is that we need to have subtitles on it. Uh, and a title so subtitles are essential because there's about 80 percent of people who watch content online that do it muted so without the sound so if you're missing out the the, the, the subtitles the, the captions <clears throat> you're going to lose a massive chunk of your potential audience by not having the subtitles in there so that's a, a must really mm -hmm. and having a title on there as well just Again, it's the headline like in copyright and in newspapers and whatever media that people are consuming, you need to have a headline to, to pull people in. So yeah, those are the, the kind of main uh, constituent parts of a of a short form video content. So a good thing about this kind of content as well is that it can be cross posted uh, or, or cross purposed across different platforms. So Instagram Reels, Facebook Reels, uh, TikToks, and YouTube Shorts. So they all use that same, the same dimensions, which is it's like nine by sixteen. Call it, which is like I say, the the, the long kind of uh, vertical rectangle. So yeah, so it's beautiful in that sense. Again, going back to the core premise of what we do is to make things time effective. So that is very time effective. You can shoot it once. And then that could be cross posted across multiple platforms within, and you just doesn't, doesn't take you long to post it across those platforms. So it's very time efficient in that sense. Um, so again, I, th this is personal, but I've found the best results have come from posting it through my personal profiles rather than um, business profiles. Uh, you can obviously post them on your business profiles as well. Again, it doesn't take much effort to, to post them on your business profiles, but um jenny just while you're there you're like i say you're doing really well with your reels what do you do it from your business and your personal or just yeah no so i my process is i have a business facebook page and then a is it professional in instagram that's what they call it isn't it yeah. and then a personal so i will create it in instagram which then automatically uploads it to my business page and then i will post it on directly i won't share it i post it directly onto my personal page and it's my personal page which probably 90 percent of my leads come through rather than my business page yeah or my my instagram has really started to sort of come up a little bit more now but it is definitely my personal page where i get more hits yeah yeah for sure yeah, that makes sense with what I'm getting as well. Because 
And and again, it does make sense for me because the way that I do it and the way we teach in this program is to build your personal profile up with the right audience that are going to be receptive to the content that you're posting and the videos that you're posting. So obviously my audience is, is you guys, mortgage brokers. So on my personal profile on um, Facebook, it's about, probably about 80% brokers and financial service firms. So um, yeah, so like I said, that's, that's generally from what I've found so far is better to prioritize at least your Facebook, uh, your personal profile. I think as, sorry, Dan, I think as well, because I think some people think when they go to a business page, they're almost expected to be sold to. Mm. So they're already got their heckles up going, oh, well, they're just putting that on there because they want me to buy or they want me to do something. Whereas yeah. when it's your personal, it kind of, you've sidelined them a bit because they're not right. thinking like that. Because yeah. we, we, we buy from people, don't we? Yeah. Everything, everything we do, whether we're buying, selling, consuming, it's all about experiences between people. So if we can put a, an actual person behind that thing, then it's somebody who they're relatable with or to, then already they're further down the line, aren't they? Closer to to take to potentially buying something. Exactly. It's um it's connection, isn't it? Human beings need connection when we're doing any business transaction but specifically in your in financial services when it's probably the biggest financial commitment someone's going to make the need to feel that connection and the trust which is what you get from the personal side of things that's why in this program we do everything pretty much through the personal profiles like for me i wouldn't even with my facebook page my business page i don't do much with that at all these days it's just to run ads from everything else i do from my personal uh, for that reason, but um, but yeah, so like I said before, it's it's fifty nine seconds, so it's all about being snappy and getting straight to the point and getting <clears throat> that information that you need to get out out in that short uh, period of time, fifty nine seconds to be exact. Do you know, Dan? Sorry to interrupt you. Do you know what I find? And I'm, it might just be pure and utter bloody luck, but thirty four seconds always gives me the magic number. Really? I, yeah, and I don't know what it is. The ones that hit like a million views or 60,000 views, they're 34 seconds long or there or thereabouts. It's really bizarre. And I don't know if that's just pure luck. Well, it can't or... be if it's happened multiple times then. Yeah. It must be some um, some method in the in the madness. Um, I don't know if it's just people get can listen that long and after that they're bored. It'll be, it'll, it'll, be co- it'll be concentration span, it'll be attention span, it'll be... Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Um... And yeah, it's one of those things that that time's getting shorter and shorter. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Like when I heard Dan, when you were talking about TikTok earlier, when TikTok first came out, probably what about how long TikTok now? Three about years four ago? Years. Yeah, four years no. ago when it first came out. I worked in a shared office space with a bunch of um, techie guys who did computer programming. They're like, oh yeah, there's this new app, TikTok, blah, blah, blah. The TikTok is designed for people with my brain. And by that, I mean, literally, I just find myself like that, just consumed yeah. the exact amount of time, the way it worked was just designed for my brain, I, to the point where I had to take off my phone. And I only just recently put TikTok back on my TikTok, TikTok, put TikTok back on my phone because the amount of time I could find myself wasting when I had it previously, it was just mental. Yeah. Um, just because that, because that, yeah, they got it right with that, that concentration span. Yeah. Which is what, like I say, what all these other platforms are kind of playing catch up with, and they've realised that that is the way that human brains are. It's not just you, Ross. It's no, no, yeah, but, yeah. The general population of human beings are kind of yeah, our attention span over the years, and, and that is reducing it even further. So, like I say, that thirty-four seconds, Jenny, probably in, in two years' time, we'll be talking about fifteen seconds, and then yeah, and then what after that? So. Then we'll have to get it all out in 10 seconds. Then we'll have to, have to put like the speed up by like 90% or something just to get it out. But um, yeah, the structure then, uh, I think, we, oh, sorry, the content ideas. So this is a, a barrier that I think a lot of people kind of come to in terms of creating content because the other thing that I've not mentioned as well, which is key is to be consistent with the the videos that you post in. I think because then, when you are consistent and you're posting regularly, 
the algorithms get to pick up what you're posting and who is best to serve that content to. So if you are sporadic about it and you're not consistent and you're just posting like every week or every, well, yeah, probably every week or every two weeks. How often would you do it, Dan? Say again, how, how often should you do it, do you think? Uh, I, I'd, I'd say at least three times a week. Um, but yeah, that's it, it, two, well, maybe two at least, three or four, maybe better, but <clears throat> at least two a week. How many do you do, Jenny? Because I, I, I do Every keep day. them on my Facebook now, and <laughs> they are, honestly, they're, they're, they're short and sweet, and they are good. Every day, every Monday yeah, to Friday. Yeah, every so where, do get, I use, where do you get your script from? I don't. I just put the camera in front of me and think about what I've done in the week, oh, yeah. and then I just start talking. I don't yeah. write it. I used to write loads of scripts, but it's just that's just it works for some. It just didn't work for me. I was really like robotic. So, yeah. Um, but what I have started to do because I'm just so bloody busy is on a Sunday night I pull out five t-shirts, put them on the desk, and just record, record, record. Yeah. And then I'm done within 20 minutes, and that's me all sorted for the week. Yeah. And then if something new comes up, then I might do one ad hoc during the day. But I have started to go to a Sunday night, just literally half hour, five T-shirts, keep swapping the T-shirt. And you'll see by the hair being in the same position, if you look really closely. <laughs> <I'm sure laughs> or the spot in the same position, you'll see that they're all recorded. Um, oh. at the same time and I found that's really helped me but it only takes me like now I've been doing it for so long literally half hour 40 minutes to do all of them yeah. the longest thing is writing the words that come with it what do you mean so you know like no, so I, no just so the that's, description so that's it yeah that's the hardest bit oh, okay. yeah. rather than actually filming it now but that's not what I, not to scare you off, Dave, into thinking you've got to do it every day. You didn't start like that, did you, Jenny? No. no. no I just... Jenny was the epitome <laughs> of somebody who was petrified to do any of this stuff. Yeah. So, like, you're now thereafter, what, a year of doing it? Probably yeah. longer. Um, but to begin with, it's just getting in front of the camera. Yeah. Just getting in front of the camera and doing it. And you'll hate it. You think you sound terrible. You'll give yourself such a hard time. In the nicest way possible... Nobody cares. And I mean, mm. I don't mean that horribly, but nobody cares. We think, I think people wake up in the morning and want to know what Ross is doing in the bin and they're all going to tune in and see me on Instagram, <laughs> but they're not. All right. And we create the story that means it's got to be perfect. It's really not about that. It's about just getting comfortable being in front of the camera. Like Jenny said, she used to have scripts and then it came more natural. And then you'll find a way that fits for you, whether it's like walking the dog, whether it's in a certain room or just somewhere where you feel comfortable just get into the habit of recording and putting out and forgetting about it. Literally just get into that habit of doing it. So maybe it's a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or it's just a Monday and a Friday or whatever it might be. Just get into the habit. And it's the consistency that actually proves sort of the proofs in the pudding when you, when you're consistent with it. Yeah. And I think for me, a bit, I thought loads of my mates would comment and take the piss and they did for like a week. And then it's like, Oh, I'm bored of that now. Yeah. Yeah. Don't even, yeah. It's just, yeah, it. done. <laughs> yeah. That's it. So um, yeah, they don't, you don't even get attention that way if I'm on it. They get bored soon. <laughs> yeah. That's it. But yeah, like I say, it's, it, the key is to be con consistent. If you're posting three a week, happy days. If you're posting one a week to start with, happy days. It's just be consistent and build that up. And if you can get to one a day, then obviously that's the, the ideal. But uh, yeah, I'd say at least kind of two or three a week to answer your question on this. Yes. Um, so yeah, in terms of the um, the ideas of content, like Jenny says, it's it's not about you don't have to think up ideas for content. It's just about what you're doing, documenting problems that you're solving for your clients. Um, that's all like the stuff that I've posted, and it's in that way again. Going back to what Jenny said about scripting stuff out, I think when you script things out and you've got it word for word there, there and you're kind of reading a script. It's very robotic and very unorganic, and it just comes off like you're reading a script, which doesn't kind of get that that connection with people. So you can do kind of bullet points. Definitely helps. Um, just start bullet pointing the main things that you that you're going to cover, just to 
remind yourself of of what it is that you're covering. But yeah, other than that, like I say, because it's stuff that you're doing, like I say, problems that you've helped people overcome that you're dealing with in that past week or the past month or testimonials, like how you've helped clients. Um, and the way that I've always structured testimonials as well is like just showing like what where they were before they started working with you and what the transition was, kind of how they've experienced working with you and then the outcome of where they are now. So people kind of see themselves in those kind of stories and they think, yeah, that's me. I'm I'm in that undesired situation where this person was that that um that this guy's helped with. And they kind of just resonate with that and they think, yeah, that's one a bit where I want to be. So when you structure it in that way, it's really beneficial to to do that, I think. Um, so yeah, testimonials work really well. So even like posts that you've done in the past that have worked really well. So don't re reinvent the wheel. So it's all about just stuff that's worked in the past or if you've ran ads in the past, that's again, how I've kind of used a lot of, I uh, got a lot of ideas for my contents by ads that I've done in the past that worked really well. So that's tried and tested. So you know, that stuff works. Um, so um, what else? Yeah. And also seeing what your competitors are doing who are doing well on video and just putting your kind of twist on what they're doing because obviously you know that it's working if, if somebody else is getting success from it and it's just about that's a lot of the content in like copywriting and stuff all this kind of frameworks and stuff it's not so it's not everybody's not thought it up it's stuff that other people have done but we're just kind of leaning into that it's not unethical to do that it's just putting your own twist on what is already working in the market so, yeah, that's just some ideas. Like I said, it's not about having to think up content. I don't think it's just about what's what you're dealing with and what what yeah. problems are, are happening in the market. Um. So, in terms of the structure, then, so how to structure it? This is the best in terms of any content, really, but spe specifically for this kind of content, video content, is to structure it in this kind of in this way. So. This is called pass. We've covered this in the past, I think. Um, but yeah, so it's all about pass stands for P for problem, A for agitate, so agitating the problem, and S for solution, so offering a solution. So P is the biggest problem that's going on in that market at the moment. So an example of that for me would be, obviously, you guys in my market, mortgage brokers, financial service firms, and your kind of biggest pain point is getting customers, getting leads. So an example of what that would be for me, that problem would be in the first kind of part of the video, I'd say, did you know that the number one skill in 2023 for mortgage brokers is the ability to get more customers? Um, so that's kind of ticking two boxes. It's, it's calling out my ideal client and it's calling out that main pain point of what you guys have so if i put that out and a mortgage broker reads that initially when they hear the word mortgage broker it's going to get their attention one and when they hear their main kind of problem the main pain point getting customers that's really going to get their attention again so they're going to continue kind of consuming that that content so it's and that's the most important part the kind of pain the problem because that's ultimately what people are um kind of it's, it's kind of is it subconscious or is it conscious i don't know but it's kind of it's psychological that people will move away from pain we're a lot more motivated to move away from pain than we are to kind of go towards pleasure it's like a it's like a, a human instinct from like survival times where like i say if we're running away from a lion you want to do that a lot quicker than you would kind of go towards a bit of food because <laughs> your life's involved in it. So it's a survival kind of instinct. So people naturally as humans will always move away um, or, or be motivated more by pain than, than pleasure. Uh, and so, yeah, so that's all about calling out your ideal client and including the main kind of number one problem that we've got. So another example would be to make a promise. So, um, so it could be like, I, so, one of the main strategies, which we'll cover in a minute, for for me, the way I do it, is to push people to my funnel. 
Um, so one of my kind of kind of the way that I could structure it would be that I'd like to tell you about a system that you can use to get clients 24 seven on autopilot as a mortgage broker. So again, it's, it's ticking those two boxes in terms of getting the mortgage broker in there, which is my ideal client, calling them out and the main pain point, getting clients 24 seven, that's going to get their attention. Um, so another example would be to tell a very short story or educate. So again, this is just going back to kind of the past experiences of what you've been dealing with. So I could say, I spoke to a mortgage broker yesterday who wastes four hours a week, uh, every week on going, attending networking events. So again, if a mortgage broker sees that and they're going to network events, they're going to think, oh, what's this all about? And then I'll obviously go into how digital marketing can put you in front of thousands of your ideal client every day without you having the need to go to networking events. Uh, again, tell, tell them about your funnel. Like I say, if you've got a funnel, uh, it's a good strategy to push people to that funnel from the, the traffic that you're generating from these uh, these videos. So an example of that would be, I'd like to tell you about a free no-cost training I'm offering and including the desire uh, and why that market needs this, this training. Uh, regularly include a CTA. So again, I think having a strategy with this pays because um, especially with a lot of people on TikTok are getting a lot of brokers that I've spoke to, they're getting thousands and thousands of views, but it's not really kind of materializing into anything in terms of appointments and sales. So it's just like, if you've not got a strategy, it can just be a kind of futile exercise because all these views are just, yeah, it looks really good on paper because you're getting all these views, but it's not materializing into anything substantial in terms of appointments and sales. So having a strategy, I think, is essential part of the equation. Um, so like I say, the main, the way I've done it, the main strategy for me is to either push people to my funnel or to push people to my YouTube channel where they'll consume my longer form content and get kind of, again, that is like a funnel because we've kind of got them with the short form and then getting them a bit interested and then kind of funnel them into the longer form stuff that's on YouTube. Or if you've got a funnel, obviously that does a hell of a lot in terms of um, qualifying and pre-qualifying them, building the trust, building the rapport, getting them onto the an email database. Uh, and we can obviously send them uh, newsletters through, um, through that email database. Um, and if you've not got a funnel or YouTube, then... Facebook group is perfect to push people to and to build up but everything that we do really online is all about building up an audience of your ideal client uh, and a Facebook group is perfect to do that um, where you can put yourself in front of on a consistent basis um, and build those connections uh, or another example of a CTO which is it's obviously different levels of, C when I say CTA, it's a call to action. And so a good CTA, with, like I said, there's different levels. There's more aggressive CTAs or there's kind of softer approaches. And the softest one, which still is a valid one, is just to ask people to comment on the video because the comments are really kind of heavy in the weightings on the algorithm. You get different like weightings that come. So like a like is doesn't really, it's not valued much in the algorithms but uh, a comment is where somebody is actually it's showing the algorithm that somebody cares about this content and they're putting their thought into it and putting a bit of time into commenting on it so when you get comments that really just kind of expedites the the, the reach of that post so if you get loads of comments on your post that's <clears throat> that's the goal um, now, so, what I do, I don't know if it makes a difference or if I'm just kidding myself. I always put a comment, but my comment is my link to my uh, discovery call, my Calendarly, and also my link to um, my credit file check. And that's a comment on every single one to try and spur others. Yeah. I don't know if I'm kidding myself if that works, but that's what I do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it should do. I'm, I'm Facebook and Instagram. Um, I don't know if you do, you do it on LinkedIn. No, I should do LinkedIn because it's all bloody limited company directors I'm getting at the moment. Uh, so I really should. 
and I should go back. Like I used to be really good at putting it on my YouTube channel and putting it on TikTok, and now literally I don't. And I know listening to you, I'm thinking that's going to be a task I need to set myself. Yeah, it wouldn't <laughs> take much more time to do it. But the the thing that made me think about LinkedIn is when you when you post something on LinkedIn and then you comment on your own post, that actually devalues the post on LinkedIn. It does it. There, I can, yeah. I don't think it does on uh, Facebook and Instagram, but it definitely does on LinkedIn. So if you if you do do it on LinkedIn, just don't comment. Well, it's after the first 10 minutes. You can do it after 10 minutes, actually. Okay. Um, but if you do it straight away, it actually devalues. It kind of Ooh, I'll have a bit of a play with that then. I'll leave it and see. Put it on it later. Yeah. Well, they said that is okay. just, that's just LinkedIn now. Um, but... Yeah, but even though it'd be worth posting it on LinkedIn, but I think it, with LinkedIn, because LinkedIn is different beast to Facebook and Instagram in terms of the algorithm, it is very different. Um, mm. And even posting your link in the main body, the post is apparently more beneficial than putting it as a as a comment. Right. Um, okay. That's LinkedIn, but like I say, LinkedIn is is different, very different algorithm to Facebook and Insta. Um, okay. Yeah, so recording it then, like I said before, you can. there's different ways of doing it, but this is the way that I've found to be the most efficient, really, and the most time efficient and uh, energy efficient, really, is just to record it in Instagram directly into the app. And then you can actually save it. Once you've recorded it in Instagram, you can save it onto your phone and then it can be kind of posted into the other um, platforms. Um, so the reason why I like to do it in Instagram is for, well, there's a couple of reasons. One is that you can you can stop and start recording. So you kind of press your thumb on it, record a line, and you can just take your thumb off and then just kind of just reevaluate and just kind of get ready for your next line. And it it's, it's that, that benefit, and that you can reset and kind of, concentrate on the next line so you're ready to, to to deliver that but the other advantage is it it kind of cuts out all the gaps normally in a when you're talking and if you did it in one there'd be little gaps between each sentence but it just cuts them all out so with it being 59 seconds it makes it more efficient in that sense and and it's obviously from the consumer side of things when somebody's watching that it's just all flows it's just rather than having those gaps, which I say just keeps people's attention more when there's no gaps in there. So that's one of the reasons. But the other one is the um, the captions in Instagram. It'll automatically uh, um, turn your, your voice into the captions. And that is really accurate. So I've tested a load of like paid services where you have to kind of put your your video in and it'll it'll transcribe it into captions and even then you have to go in and edit bits to make sure that the words are actually kind of right in terms of what you've said and what they've got but instagram just does it to a t it's really good and it's really accurate so they're the reasons why um it's beneficial just to do it all within instagram um so where are we up to yeah, and the, another thing to do when you are actually recording it is to keep, like, your, if you're looking at that, your head, for me, needs to be, like, around there, around the top, but not right at the top because we want to keep a big portion at the bottom for the, 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 the captions. So that wants to be, like, your torso area, and then your head wants to be, like I say, around the, the top, but not right at the top because we need to get the title at the top. So you need a little bit of space for the title at the top and then your head there and then the rest kind of left space for the captions. Um, so, so equipment wise, it is worth getting a mic, I think. Um, do you use a mic, Jenny, for yours? You on mute? Still on mute, Jenny. Sorry, yeah, no, no, I don't. I have my phone and then a um, secondhand buy it and sell it special tripod 
light mirror thing. That's it. Yeah. No mic. No mic. Right. Well, I I've got one for twenty quid off Amazon, so it's, I think it's worth getting a mic if if anything, because I think the sound quality is the most important aspect of video because people even even more important than the actual kind of visual because people just when they hear horrible sound it's people will just not kind of um not get invested in and not give it their attention okay. so i think it's worth just getting a cheap 20 quid one like a lapel one like this is one i'm using at the minute 20 quid off amazon um and make sure you've got plenty of, of light on your face natural light like i said jenny you use a, a, a ring light did you say yeah, but I never switch it on. <laughs> I just use it as a tripod. <laughs> All right. so, I'm so. shocking, aren't I, Dan? I'm ruining everything. Yeah. It bloody works, Al. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Ross has got one. Uh, Ross has got my, one. It's my halo. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, just getting, if you've not got a light, and well, they're not expensive, are they? I think you could get them for like a tenner or something. Because, yeah. But... Um, as long as you've got light in there, natural light, like I say again, we're just kind of going for done and not perfect. So we've got light, natural light coming in. Um, jobs are good. And, and in even I've found it was like moving around an interesting room, or if you're in an interesting environment, like out somewhere in the in the countryside, just keeps people's attention, I think, rather than a static background, because people are just kind of Again, the inquisitive people are nosy and they want to see what you're doing. Or see if you if you're in somewhere like that that's gonna uh, be interesting to people. It's worth just having to play with that kind of stuff and seeing what what kind of reception you're getting. If you're getting more views from that kind of stuff, then again, everything that that we're doing digital marketing is about testing different things and trying different things out and seeing what works and what doesn't. Um, so I'm just going to show you a quick video now that I recorded earlier just to um, show you the actual recording, um, how to do it. So let me just pull this video up. Can you still see my screen? Yeah. 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 You can see that? Yeah. We do it all within the Instagram. I can't see that. We can't see the video, though. We can hear it. can't see the video. Yeah. And in the middle at the bottom. All right. It's just that. See it now? That's it. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'll just start again. Oh, I'm real. So obviously you open, well, we do it all within the Instagram app. They open the Instagram app. And then in the middle at the bottom there, that's the real uh, Press that. Uh, You're so as weird as Sorry. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, sorry, you do. And then you press the, at the top right is the, um, camera icon uh, so you press that and then obviously you'd record your video but first you need to change where it says 15 you need to change that to 60 so okay, it's a 60 second reel uh, and then you record your video so to record what the best i found the best way to do it is just to kind of say a line uh and then stop recording and then say the next line uh obviously start recording again when, when saying the next line so in that in that way, it keeps it. It kind of cuts out all the the gaps, so it keeps it rolling, and it gives you just a minute to reset and just think about the next line that you're going to say. So you make sure that you so you're making sure that you um you know where you're at with it. Yeah, you're refreshing yourself every every time. Um, as well as that, obviously, it means if you mess a bit up, you can just go back and delete that rather than having to completely restart the whole video from scratch so so to do that you'd hold that record stop press it again and you just keep doing that <clears throat> and it, it took a minute so so if you if i messed that bit up um i press next record. edit clips record. Again, real, and then 
we just press that minus button just to delete that uh, that last clip. We press done, and then I can go back. We just press back and back again. And you can start recording again. So once you've recorded the full minute video, the next step would be to add the captions. So all you do for that is you press next. And then go in this uh, little button here with the it's like a oh. post-it note with a smile on it. Again. Press that. Press captions. Oh. And that will automatically oh. transcribe your um, audio into captions. Oh. So you've got the captions there now, which is um, obviously oh. it's essential to have those really because a lot of people watch videos without sound. So you need to oh. still be um, hitting that, that audience. So obviously, obviously, this will have your face, and it's the idea is is to have your face quite centralised or 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 well, sorry, not centralised, but a bit more to the top, so you've got more space at the bottom for the um for the captions. So move them down there, and then once you've done that, then add a title, which is just this uh, this text button there. Just press that, type the title in, again, and move up around. Top so that'll be obviously oh. on the top of your head. Captions right would be below, like on your chest area. Oh. And you want to be just looking right straight into the camera. And um, once oh. you've done that, right that's again. your video done. So you then press this download button there to save oh. that to your device. Right again. And that means that you can then obviously just cross oh. purpose, uh, cross post that right video on the uh, on the other platform. Oh. Um, but you'd also right obviously again. post it on Instagram. So you press next. And you'd write your caption and you'd add a few, about five hashtags to that. And then you just copy and paste your caption and find where the video is recorded onto your phone and post that into TikTok, uh, Instagram, uh, YouTube Shorts, uh, Facebook Reels. And you could also post it on LinkedIn as well. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's just kind of a, a high level overview. But um, yeah, that's uh, that's how to, to record the video. Thank you. All right, so that's how to actually um, record it then. But is is that how you do it, Jenny? Did you say you do it on Insta? No. So I record. Sorry, I'm ruining everyone. I record it directly on my phone, and then I upload it to Instagram, and then I add my captions, and then I add my title. Yeah. Okay. But I do it on Instagram because the, like you say, the captions are so much better than anywhere yeah. else. So then once I've got my captions and I've got the title, I then download it back onto my phone to upload it to Facebook. Yeah, makes sense. So, so yeah, that's kind of the 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 um ninety percent of it done. And the last bit is just about obviously posting your caption and which is the kind of bit below it, the, the actual bit of text, um, which, again, I, the way that i found best is to not kind of summarise everything that's in the video because the point is we want people to watch the video rather than just read the caption. So it's just to, again, just to put a bit of a headline and a bit of a, a leading kind of headline as to, to what the video content is all about rather than just giving the full context of the video away in, in the caption. And also adding the hashtags, obviously, especially with Instagram, hashtags are really, well, I'm the real, on Facebook Reels. This is how the algorithms learn who to deliver it to, and including the caption. So they'll even, the algorithms pick up in what is in the caption. So they'll, if you've got, if you're pulling out your ideal client within the caption, then it's going to learn that. So um, pretty much every caption that I put, it's, got even mortgage broker or financial services. So it's learning what my content is about. So it gets to learn who to deliver that content to. And again, you only get that for by including two things by one, including what I've mentioned there in the captions and two being consistent because um, it'll only pick that stuff up or if you are consistent, if you're just posting one a week or one a month, then it's never going to get to learn who it needs to deliver this, this content to. Um, so, yeah, hashtags and, like I said, caption. About five, I think, is the sweet spot in terms of your, your hashtags. Uh, too many, and it's going to lose 
Um, it's just going to be it's just going to be too convoluted, and it's not the algorithm is not going to be able to learn from that if it's got too many because it's it's just skewed in too many di different directions. Um, but yeah, any less than I think you're just kind of missing um, missing the opportunity really. Uh, but yeah, five is generally the sweet spot, I think. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much kind of covered everything there. So the idea is, I think once you have, if you're going to give this a go, which I really push you towards doing, is to post them in the group when you've done them. We can always obviously give you feedback. That's what we're we're here to do. And obviously, we've got people like Jenny who's killing it with this stuff. So I'm sure Jenny. Will... I don't know if I'm killing it, but I keep trying. Yeah, no, I think you are. I think you're. Uh, you don't. Well, you're very good, Jenny. Oh, bless you, David. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah. So, like I say, that's what we're here. This is the the point of this group. That's a community element where people will help you out and and give you pointers and obviously including us as coaches, but other people as well. But um, what what do you guys reckon? Do you think you'll give it a go? And in, yeah. Dave. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I've got to, I've got to go now. Do it, yeah. Yeah. And I've learned a lot more tonight. Yeah, yeah. Using yeah. my phone and using Instagram and yeah. that I, 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 I have for as long as I've had it. I've got an Instagram account and I never use it. Yeah. It's going to get reactivated again now. Yeah. The, hard, the hardest bit is just doing the first couple of videos. Yeah. yeah. And and honestly, and I still do it now. I joke about it, but nobody cares what the videos look like. But we really do. We really worry that it's got to be perfect and it's got to be right. And if you think about how we consume videos, very rarely do we consume a video and then be like, oh, I need to go back to that video. You just kind of consume it and it's it's used for that moment in time and then we move on. That's yeah. the same thing with your content and all the all that the content's going to create is that association with mortgages and you. That's what you're trying to create is that link between, oh, I know some of these mortgages. Wait a minute, let me find that. I'm, I'm following them on Instagram. And that's how they do it. You know, so the video content is just to literally keep you at the top of their list of people who do that thing. And the more you get into it, and for a couple of people as well that we've had through the group, if you really struggle with it because um, you just feel uncomfortable, whatever it might look like, um, schedule some time in your day and have it done as a work task. Schedule some time in your day. And have it as a I work task. Jenny doing it on the Sunday night and knocking them out. Getting ahead of it, parties. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Can I, I can ask a can I ask a question at the risk of uh, sounding very naive about uh, this kind of stuff? You mentioned hash, hashtags. Tell me about hashtags. So hashtag is the key word that gets you around the the system, or it's it, it's it is. But you know what? Like the hash is like the. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like a key word, but there's, there's two sides of it. So there is obviously the hashtags, but the algorithm also picks up on what you're posting in the caption as well as the hashtags. So it's good to yeah. include some. It means it's got to be relevant to the content that you're posting. Um, but yeah, it's good to include those because yeah, that's how it really gets shared because people people follow these hashtags, especially in Instagram, like. A lot of people will follow, like if they're first-time buyers, for example, they might follow the first-time buyer hashtag. So, people that post posts that have got that hashtag, that'll that'll come into their feeds, like it would if they're a, a friend with somebody, but their, their posts come into their feed. But if they're following that hashtag, like they would be following a person, they'd see those posts that are being posted into that that hashtag. Not all of them, depending. Like I said, there's different size hashtags. Like there's some that have got millions and millions of posts going in there. So it's difficult. This, this We could do a whole session on hashtags, but it's difficult to find the, the right kind of hashtags but um, that are going to get you the most traction. But again, it's just about playing around with them and finding what's yeah. working and, and what's not and testing different hashtags. But the, the point is they've got to be relevant to the content that you post. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, sorry, Darren. I didn't realise you were there, mate. I've just pulled you up on the on the thing. <laughs> That's a moment. What? Where? Where are you with? Did you say you posted something today on the chat? Yeah, I, I did it exactly the same as what you shown there, like with the Instagram, because you can just like you like you say, you just hold it down and then stop it. Yeah, yeah. And then or the next bit. So it's like instead of having like gaps in like you, you know, like when people 
and got gaps, you tend to go, uh, uh, so it, it gets away from that. You just yeah. literally get your finger off, do yeah. it again, and then yeah. do the next time kind of thing. So I've been doing that, but then what I do is I save it, and then I put it into an app called Captions, funny enough. Yeah. Um, and it does the same as Instagram captions. It just makes them look a bit fancier and yeah. and it, it also cuts out the you know the, the pauses. Mm. Cuts out them automatically. Unfortunately, right. unfortunately it cuts out swear words as well. It doesn't really work for me, but <laughs> well, the Instagram does now as well. It like when you say yeah. shit, it bleeps. It puts yeah. loads of yeah. asterisks up. Yeah, yeah. 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 And Totally ruins it for me, but never mind. <laughs> when you're trying to get a point across, a <laughs> fucking point across. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, there is a, a good another one that that I've used in the past is called uh, Cap Cap Cut. I think it's called Cap Cut. That's owned by TikTok, isn't it? Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. How was that? But, yeah, that's good. But yeah, like I say, that's a really beneficial thing. I think the fact that you can just stop and start and cut out because I. When I've done video stuff in the past, I've had to record it in one thing, in one take, and then put it in an, into an app to, to cut out those. They call it jump jump cuts, don't they? Where yeah, and I've tried, I've tried the opposite of doing that. So I've tried to record just off my phone, not in an app, just using the video, and recording multiple videos and then putting them all in one yeah. to like kind of stitch them together. And oh, like, you know what? The Instagram method just take it's so much quicker. And when you, you I think, to be fair, posting is a bit of a chore, if I'm honest. And I, I know that I'd have to do it, and I just think, I can't be asked. So for me, the quickest way to do it is, is exactly that with the Instagram thing, just boop, boop, boop. It takes you a couple of minutes, download mm -hmm. it, I put it in the captions, I upload it, <clears> done. <throat> Next 10 yeah. minutes. Now, whereas I probably spend like an hour and a half before. Yeah, pissing around. Yeah. What, what, yeah. I found, what I found as well, with all the people that have come through the New Age stuff, all the people who um, have had sort of again relative success to themselves is they've they've always had something that's very authentic about them so like dave for you right it's your accent straight yeah. away straight away that's and again uh darren for you as well straight away it's your accent already i'm like oh yeah it's the geordie lad or oh, it's the scouse or it's the guy from Br brummy or wherever it is and, and that is just you and you don't have to pretend to be anything else or it, that can be your thing. And that's just who you are and what you do. And it's something that can just become the thing that you're known for. Not intentionally, not trying to kick the arse out of it, but that's just the the hook that goes. There's something about that. That's just, it's comforting. It's authentic. Mm. You know, it's not somebody trying to be something they're not, which can come across on video so easily. And you've got to imagine like, our um i call it your, your bullshit filter for people on their phones because of the apps and how they work people's bullshit filter is really really good so if it's not resonating or there's anything that kicks in that says this is fake and not authentic i'm already off it i'm already off it i've, I've gone to the next what i've gone to the next video i've gone to the next whatever it might look like so the more you can be you the better and like the jenny that was really difficult when you first started because you like didn't think it was who you were and I mean, yeah, yeah correct me if I'm wrong. People, I think, accents, yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, Jenny. But as soon as you kind of like sat with, I'm not going to try and be anything that I'm not. I'm just going to speak the way I am. I'm going to I'm going to dress the way yeah. I am. I'm going to be here in the way I am. I'm just going to be me, 100 percent me. All of a sudden, it just went ding because it's and it's easier. It? Yeah, and it's just easier. Like I know everyone does all this fancy shit with Instagram, but I literally all mine are recorded in one take. There's none of this start stop. I I ain't got. I ain't got the mental capacity for that. And it's just because then that is just me and I mess up words and it comes up on the captions that I put the wrong word. Yeah. And before I'd sit there and I'd change it all and now I'm like, fuck it, that's me. I put, <laughs> spelled something wrong the other day. I can't, I've discovered I can't spell secret or client. But that's okay because when people messages me to say you spelled client wrong, yeah, but you're messaging me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so commenting on your post. Yeah. Yeah, 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 thanks for that. And we get into a conversation. And so I, yeah, I, I probably need to be a bit better and tidier in some ways. But... And I think, I think the the kind of like happy medium for all, for everyone, I include myself in this, is just do as much as you feel is an, is enough. And as soon as you feel like it's starting to be a ball ache, stop there. So whether it is just checking it once, you know, because you might have a person who's got to make sure it is perfect, but 
if it's if it's the uh, the options are get it out or don't get it out well do what you need to do to get it out okay mm. and then leave it literally just leave it because it's gone and then just go to the next one mm. and, and i mean it in a nice way don't make it into a big thing don't make it a big thing it's just you posting a video that's all it is and it's i gone. actually I actually think that being controversial um, has a massive, it helps massively. Yeah. If you try to please everybody, you, you no, speak to I, nobody. I discovered, I, I did one video where I, I said something about along the lines of it's, um, it's okay to rent a property out to a complete stranger, but not to family. And that that's kind of how I left it. It, it was just like that. People in the mortgage industry know everything behind that. But all I said is it's, it's okay to, rent a, a property out to a complete stranger, but you can't do it to family. What kind of bollocks is that about? And I, and that's all I left it. And the amount of people that commented on it go, no, that's not right. And what I discovered is because people would comment on it, it just went nuts. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so I that's thought, the heaviest weight in the good. algorithms. I've just got, got to keep kicking something. <laughs> to get a reaction. <laughs> just, just, just kick something and just yeah. go, what do you think of that? And that's all you're opinion. doing. You, you're poking yeah. the bear. You're poking the yeah. bear and you, you're trying to provoke some sort of response. And if you try to please everybody, you will speak to nobody. Like if you just try and play it safe all the time. I mean, obviously there is a line, uh, but like, yeah, but just poke the bear. I'm not so, sure there is a line if I'm honest. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be, I want to be seen on this recording as saying that there is a line. You guys can do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think some people try to make the content. Re- I find so I actually somehow I don't know how I evolved into this. The simpler the content, the more hits you get. It's mm. when you try to make it really intelligent oh. or really explain it to the ninth degree. People don't care about that. They want to mm. know what an agreement in principle is. There's, a, there's a reason. There's a reason they they're need. coming to you for that stuff. There's yeah. a reason that, like, I don't need to know all that stuff. Just tell me how am I going to do it? How's it? How much is it going to cost? And when am I going to get it done by? Just keep yeah. it nice and simple. That's, That's all I want. Bullshit baffles brains, isn't it? Oh God, yeah. absolutely. I, I have seen. Thing. I have seen somebody on TikTok who done this. Like it was like a, um, a video. It was like five things that really annoy mortgage advisors or, or something like that. And it and it kind of went on, so it went through every single point. And I thought, I think you've missed the trick there because. I can make five videos now. So I basically, <laughs> I took all of these five points and I just made a video on each one. Yes. So this is what Dan That's was right. saying earlier yeah. about seeing what's out there. The yeah, you don't need to reinvent it because you're yeah. never, we're never ever sharing any groundbreaking stuff like never heard before. We're just finding a different way to deliver it and it's been delivered to a different audience. I mean, you can um, deliver the same thing as somebody else, but because it's a different accent or a different face, it it resonates with different people. So it's 100%. One hundred percent relevant, really. Yeah. 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 Or yeah, if you've I, got like say a clearly defined ideal client, you just call out that ideal client first, and it's the same content, but it's going to a different audience, and yeah, it'll just get their attention. Sorry, Jenny, were you going to say something? I was just yeah, I was just going to say a lot of this. There's only so much stuff you can say that anyone's interested with, so you get yeah. to a point where you just say it in a different way, and it's exactly yeah. the same content. But what I've started to do now is so I have. So in essence, you're basically looking in my eyes when you're doing a reel, you're looking at market, you're looking at credit files, you're looking at income. That's really the only three things that you will really, and what an actual mortgage is, you'll talk about. So now on my reels are set up that I'll do my top tip Tuesday, but my top tip Tuesday is actually my reel for Friday. On a Wednesday, I'll do an income booster. And then actually that's two days already sorted. I don't need to worry about it. And the other three days are just random shit that happened in the week. You yeah, just really. repurposed content. Yeah. It's just yeah. really, really smart use of stuff. And and plus as well, and this is another thing that we, you do as well, because this is your field of expertise, you think everybody knows the stuff that you know. So you mm. only tell the world once. And then you think that everyone watched it that one time and everybody knows that stuff you changed. But it's not. You may yeah. repeat those tips. You may repeat completely those different advice. Set of people that will watch it. The second yeah, yeah, yeah. Out. Absolutely. And yeah. So what if someone saw the same piece of advice twice? Mm-hmm. Just means okay. that they know that you you did that thing. So we can really we can we can confuse ourselves by the fancy apps, the content, the captions, and all the stuff. Just keep it nice and simple. Listen and, and take on all the advice that everyone's done, but keep it nice and simple. Um, and then just start getting it out. And then every time you 
I mean, if you look, and again, we're using the example of Jenny, but if you look at the evolution of where Jenny's come from to where she is now, it's a completely different beast. So just just um, bear that in mind when you're doing it, because if you can, if you turn into this big, huge, horrible monster, you're then not going to do it. And all of a sudden you, you talked yourself out of doing it. Yeah. Because this is the perfect, because I used to do video content as regularly as I could. But again, it was about doing it the old way, which I used to set up a tripod. I used to make sure I had a shirt on and my hair was all slick and I was like really prepped for it. And it'd take me a while to do it. And then I'd have to, like I say, use the app to put out the the the, um, the, the jump cuts. And, and then I'd put a, a fancy header on it and put it through an app to put all the captions in it. And that process would probably take me a good four hours, but <laughs> for one video, and it, you can't be consistent with that because it's just too much work. But now you've got this ability to just do it. it. Like someone said, I think you said, Darren, it takes 10 minutes, literally. You can pump out it within I, I think an the hour. more effort you put in, I've noticed as well, it's like how you can put um, you know, like co cover photos on reels. And I've like created like cover photos and used it for like reels and stuff. And the, and the ones I've spent more time on actually do, do nothing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're, better, you're better off just, I think it's, you're better off kind of just like picking a, a bit out of your video where you look like a bit of an idiot. Yeah. Or people are going to look at it and go, what the hell is he doing there? Because the more, it's again, it, with, the video, yeah, with the video generally, the more, produced it looks the more polished it looks the less attention it'll get because people mm -hmm. think that if they see that and think oh i'm gonna get sold to it it's yeah the less bad. less authentic as well you know yeah. they just want to know the person behind the stuff that's sharing this info with me mm -hmm. i think i do think that, and i think that's really important there ross because i think like, everyone goes on about being your authentic self but actually if you've got friends and you know people <laughs> if nothing else you will attract those kind of people so it doesn't have to be you don't have to put on this front all you're actually doing is saying i'm here those people that yeah. are interested will come to me whether i've got and the most the amazing right video yeah absolutely absolutely that and it's so hard oh. it's yeah. so hard when we try to be something we're not because that then comes at a cost whether it's tired time energy whatever it is you'll, you'll either become too much of a pain to do it because you've got to be somebody that you're not You'll mess something up, you'll get caught out, and all of a sudden it's just like, I'll just be myself. And then it's just so easy to get your phone out and just record something. But then when you get them on a call, they're like, well, you're not fucking who you said you were on that video. Yeah, <laughs> this is the thing. We end up having, who, who the fuck we, end up, the, we end up having these calls, the Zoom calls or video calls, and they go, wait a minute, you're not the person that I saw on the thing. Yeah, but I've hooked you in now, and now I'm going to like yeah. sell to you. It's like just yeah, be you. You can't carry a pretense for long. Nah, just that's just it. Be you. So even when you get a model call, the likelihood is you won't convert because you're not who yeah, you said you were. So you yeah, because they're expecting somebody else. Yeah. So you might as well just be you, rough yeah. around the edges or whatever it is. Yeah. It's easier, yeah. isn't it, to be you than anyone else? Absolutely. Yeah. Everyone else is taken. Yeah. Anybody else got any questions or anything else they want to add? No. No. But if you so, could just go and like all my stars now on my videos, that'd be really good. Yeah. <laughs> just star them. Dan, I see you've got stars now. I don't really understand it. Facebook told me I had to do it, so I've done it. Yeah, I've not got any yet. And I, I don't expect to get any. Uh, well, I make my wife do it, so does that count? <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know. Probably, isn't it like a, a payment thing? Doesn't it? Yeah. Money to do it. I don't 89p know. it costs her every time oh is it yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that goes to you doesn't it I that see. goes to me so it's fine. <laughs> but yeah Dave and Andy are you going to knock some up then the yeah, yeah, yeah definitely yeah yeah. You know, well, I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to have a look and uh, you can tell me what I've done wrong when I've done them yeah. <laughs> or Dave. what I need to add to them yeah Dave honestly get it recorded tonight or tomorrow and just stick it in the uh, school chat Share it with us. We'll have a look at it. And honestly, all I'll, all we'll say is get it out. Mm. Honestly, just get it out. Just the sooner you get into that habit of getting out, the better. Yeah. And everyone, yeah. every time you do it, it just becomes a little easier and a little easier. And then you'll have a moment where you're like, oh, no, it was shit. And somebody said something. It's like, nah, just be consistent. Just be consistent. And once we get out of our own way uh, and we stop listening to that story we've told ourselves about how shit and terrible it's going to be, you just get it out there. Honestly, and it, it and we just get on our own way. So as easy as it is for us to say and just do it, literally take some time, 
Don't worry too much about it. Give it the time that it deserves and then get it into the group, share it. We'll have a look at it. And honestly, we'll probably just tell you to stick it straight okay. out. Okay. Honestly. Yeah. Best I'm going to do I'm going to do is I'm going to add a picture of my face and put it on Jenny's one. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to Very cover authentic. my boobs up. <laughs> <laughs> I, actually, I actually did that the other day. You know, there's a, a mortgage advisor's um, reel on Facebook, I think it was. And I kind of nicked it. And when I say nicked it, what I done is I took her video and I spliced me into it. And she actually <laughs> loved it. She she messaged me and said, I'm I'm sat here laughing my head off because I just made it a comedy thing of her like really straight face video. And I just put myself into it, just making stupid comments, and she loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Figured I may as well have a laugh with it. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Um, you're gonna have a crack as well, Andy, yeah. I am, yes, definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we'll expect posts on the group then, yeah, in the next oh, yeah. week. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Question, how, the, how the hell do I find the group? Because I'll be um, honest with you, I struggle to get on here tonight. The, the link doesn't seem to want to work on my machine. I don't know what's going on. It's, you've got an invite for the school group. Have you not accepted it? Or I can't get not... in. I keep, I keep getting a bad gateway. What, on the school link or this yeah. Zoom link? Both. I, I, I struggle. Like, I like to restart my machine twice. Really? I'll, I'll message you after this and we'll, we'll get it straightened out, mate. Yeah, cool. All right, guys. All right, everyone. Awesome. Cheers, thanks, Dan. Yeah, you're Cheers, welcome. Guys. Speak to you all soon. Take it easy, guys. Thank you. Cheers. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye. Thank you.